What is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Pokemon Go tips and tricks video. Today we're going to be talking about how you can find out what your best Pokemon of each type is. Let's get right into it. So obviously if you look at the stats that every single Pokemon has, you're going to be able to tell your best Pokemon, right? Well actually, no. Each Pokemon has been found to have three different individual values that determine its overall stat distribution and how high it can be powered up. So let's just say that you have a 400 CP EV and a 300 CP EV. Normally, you would just keep the 400 CP EV, you'd evolve it, and you wouldn't really think much about it. But in the end game, that might actually make a very big difference in the overall power of the evolved EV. And it's a lot easier than you might think to go ahead and find the IVs of each Pokemon you have. You just have to go to a website that I have in the description below, so go ahead and check it out and you just input a couple values for each Pokemon and what the Pokemon is, and it'll tell you how perfect your Pokemon is. So even if you have like a 15 or 20 CP Pokemon, it could still be the best Pokemon you have, and you wouldn't even know it if you didn't calculate its IVs. Personally, I'll be checking my own team in a very, very short time to see if I have any perfect Pokemon. I highly doubt it. Obviously, it's more likely that they're not perfect. But if I do, then I might go ahead and focus on powering them up in the future. And it's funny, because if you're looking at this from a mid-game perspective, obviously it's going to be better to catch the better Pokemon by CP only, and evolve the better Pokemon by CP only. But if you're looking at it from an endgame perspective, maybe it'd be better to go ahead and find the absolute perfect Pokemon, and then evolve them and power them up. I found this to be particularly helpful if you guys are people that found a really rare Pokemon right at the beginning of playing Pokemon Go that quickly became irrelevant to your team, it might actually be worth powering it up and making it maxed out. So I definitely do think and really would encourage you guys to go ahead and go to the website in the description below and check out the IVs of each Pokemon you have. And that's going to be about it for this one, guys. I was going to go ahead and explain the algorithm, but honestly, it's not even necessary now that we have websites that have actual calculators for it. So that's going to be about it for this one. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Hope to see you back here for the next Pokemon Go Tips and Tricks video. Till then, peace.